All right, this video is about using trig ratios and solving for sides of right triangles. Okay, so on any given right triangle, there are three main trig ratios used, okay? And we use the three main ones because those are the buttons that are readily available on your calculator, sine, cosine, and tangent. So those are the three you're going to choose from as you work through these problems, okay? So, and remember, opposite, adjacent, and hypot opposite and adjacent are relative to the angle theta. So if theta is down here in the corner, my opposite side is directly across. The adjacent side is touching it, which makes this a hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. Okay, so first thing you want to do with your triangle is label opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. So you know which ratio to utilize in your problem. Also, you need to make sure that your calculators are in degree mode before you move forward. Otherwise, your answers may go wrong. So you'll hit the mode button and then highlight where it says degree mode. Okay? Make sure that's highlighted before you start working problems. Otherwise, you could get wrong answers. All right, let's try one. Okay, using sine, cosine, or tangent ratios, find x and y. Round to the nearest hundred. Okay, so here's my triangle. First thing I want to do is label opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to my angle theta. This is my theta. Okay, so relative to this, what's opposite me? Well, this side six. This is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. All right, so we need to find x and y. So I'm just going to find x first. x is the adjacent side to my angle. So let's think about which which ratio uses the adjacent side and the high and think about which ratio what do I have I have the adjacent side and I have an opposite side I've got to use the opposite side to help me find the adjacent so which one uses opposite and adjacent well that's tangent over here so I would say the tangent not of theta because I know exactly what theta is this time I would say the tangent of theta which is 19 equals Opposite side is 6, adjacent side is x, All right? So I need to solve this for x. So what I would do, multiply both sides by x. That cancels over here. So I have x times the tangent of 19. Now that's one unit together, equals 6. So what I'm going to do is take 6 and divide it by the tangent of 19. And I get x is equal to 17.43. All right, so to find y, let's look at what I need for y. y is my hypotenuse. I have this opposite side to my angle. So I need to find the ratio that uses opposite and hypotenuse. Well, that's sine, so Katoa, that's sine. So I said the sine of 19 degrees equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, that's the y. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply by y. So y times the sine of 19 equals 6. And divide by the sine of 19. Don't separate the sine from 19. Those stick together. Okay, so that's what I put in my calculator. 6 divided by the sine of 19. And I get 18.43. All right, so I've solved for my two missing sides. Let's try another one. All right, sine, cosine, or tangent, find x and y, round of the nearest 100, okay? First thing I need to do is decide, here's my angle theta, okay? What is opposite me? Well, this side is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse, okay? So if I'm gonna solve for x first, let's look at what two sides that is. That's opposite and hypotenuse. So if I do SOHCAHTOA, Which one uses opposite and hypotenuse? Well, the sine does. So I'm going to say the sine of my angle, which is 52, equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay? Now, you'll like these better because, look, all I have to do is cross multiply to get x. All I have to do is take the sine of 52 and multiply it by 45. And I get 35.5. Or six. 
That is the value of x, okay? Now, for y, let's look at what two sides I need. I need the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Look at your Sokotoa, that is cosine. So I say the cosine of 52 equals the adjacent, which is y, over the hypotenuse. Again, we'll like it, look, we just have to multiply cosine of 52 times 45. And that will give us our value for y. When you put that in your calculator, you get 27.70. Okay? It's that simple. Pick the right ratio, set up the equation, and solve it. One more example. All right. Here's my angle theta. So let's think about what's opposite me. That's the y value. What's adjacent is the 27, and x is my hypotenuse. All right? So if I need to solve for x, I have the adjacent and I need the hypotenuse. So if you write out Sokotoa one more time, which ratio uses the adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, that's the cosine. So I say the cosine of my angle 48 equals the adjacent side, which was 27, over the hypotenuse, which is x. Now we're back to the first type we did, where we have to multiply both sides by x. And I have x times the cosine 48 equals 27. So I divide by the cosine of 48. So x is going to be 40.35, right? Now to find y. y is opposite side, and I have the adjacent. So which ratio uses opposite and adjacent? That would be the tangent, okay? So I use the tangent of my angle 48 equals the opposite over the adjacent. Hey, look at that. This one I can just cross multiply and solve it. So y equals the tangent of 48 times 27. So y will be 28.99. Now, something I want to point out is when you type this in the calculator, it's going to automatically open a parenthesis here. You need to make sure to close it so that it doesn't calculate incorrectly. Okay, I want you to try this one on your own. Good luck and we'll see you in class.